Hall of Fame harness racer Howard Bisinger recently celebrated his 90th birthday. In his career and in his life, he's literally proving that the sky's the limit. Howard Bisinger has a reputation for being a master when it comes to training trotters. In fact, he's a four-time winner of the prestigious Hamiltonian. Lindy's Pride and Speedy Crown were just two of the many trotting champs on his roster. Although the sport of harness racing is dangerous in itself, Howard, who recently turned 90, is still young in spirit and heart, and obviously, still a thrill seeker. For his big milestone birthday on May 16th, Bisinger went hand gliding in Georgia. Although he admits it was a bit scary, he says he really enjoyed it and recommends the experience. In his words, quote, for anything to be exciting, it has to be a little dangerous. When you're 90 years old, it doesn't make much difference anymore. <laughs> Bisinger isn't sure what he'll do for his 100th birthday, but he says that skydiving isn't out of the question. Once again, happy birthday to a living legend in our sport. Let's take a look at one of the most memorable races of his career. It's the 1971 Hamiltonian featuring the great trotter Speedy Crown. This edition of the classic race took place in Duquoin, Illinois. Hey, Rob, back to trotting. Speedy Crown is out fast on the inside. Driving from the outside goes Ruth Speed. Ruth Speed up on the outside. Speedy Crown along the rail. Savoir is third. Aces Orion is fourth around the turn. Quick try trotting fifth. In sixth is Keystone Hilliard. Top Hanover is seventh. Anchor Boy is eighth. And Lightning Larry is ninth. Going over to the quarter mile mark. Ruth Speed driving after that lead. Speedy Crown now second along the rail. They get to the quarter mile mark and move to the back stretch after a quarter and 29 and four. Hoot Speed, the leader by a length and a half. Speedy Crown second, Savoir a close third. AC's Orion is fourth, quick tribe trotting fifth. Top Hanover sixth on the outside moving up. Keystone Hilliard is seventh and there goes Speedy Crown out of second and up to challenge Hoot Speed for the lead. Speedy Crown races to the front, approaching the half mile mark. Hoot Speed is second by three lengths, Savoir is third by two. AC's Orion trotting fourth and quick pride is fifth they get to the half in 59 and two fifth seconds over to the far turn speedy crown the leader his margin for Howard Beisinger is a length and three quarters. And now Savoir drives from third and is coming on. That's Speedy Crown. It is Speedy Crown by a neck. Savoir has joined the chase on the outside now, pressing as they move around the turn. It is Savoir on the outside, Speedy Crown on the inside. And those two matching strides coming to the three quarters. Head and head, neck and neck, into the three quarters in 129 and two. Savoir on the outside, Speedy Crown on the inside. Here comes AC's Orion up in third. Quick Pride also driving. It is Savoir and Speedy Crown on the extreme outside. AC's Orion and Keystone Hedger. Speedy Crown and Savoir as they come to the lane. Speedy Crown. Speedy Crown giving Howard Bisinger his second Hamiltonian victory in three years. In 1969, it was Bisinger and Lindy's Pride winning this Decoin Classic, and part owners of Lindy's Pride were these same Ananachi brothers of Plainview, New York. A son of the Florican mayor, Mistletoe, Speedy Crown can truly be classed as a small town boy who came to the big time and made good. The official breeder was Bisinger's lovely wife, Ann. Illinois Governor Richard Ogilvy and Hamiltonian impresario Bill Hayes look on in Victory Lane as Howard Bisinger assures the big crowd that this is the greatest thing that can happen to any trainer and driver. <laughs> 